this morning. A 57-year-old cocoa farmer from Chifo, Himan in Swayim, in the central region, was last month handed a nine-month prison term for stealing two bunches of plantain. And the convict was arrested for harvesting the plantain without permission. The father of five was arraigned before a court in Fosu where he pleaded guilty. The court had then fined him 1,200 Ghana cities. Unable to pay the fine, he was sentenced to nine months imprisonment. He, the incarceration has resurfaced the conversations about the need to introduce a community sentencing to ensure that such crimes do not lead people to jail. Amnesty International Ghana has been advocating for proper non-custodial sentencing in Ghana. To delve deeper into this very development, we are joined on Zoom uh, by the board chairman of Amnesty International, Francis Nantichi. Francis, good morning and welcome to the and welcome to the morning. Good morning, and thanks for having me. Okay, Francis, do you think crimes of petty stealing should still lead people to jail? Thank you. I don't think so. We think that petty crimes should suffer punishment, but the punishment should be such that those people are not sentenced to prison terms. They could be fined or they could be made to work, what you term as a community service, yeah. to serve as a deterrent to others. We say so on so many grounds. We know that our prisons are seriously overcrowded. As of yesterday, our prisons were overcrowded by 49.8%. That's huge. Yeah. That is uh, about 5,000 members wow. are overcrowded in their prisons. More so, we know that we are unable to feed them well. It is mind boggling to know that one CD 80 pesos is used to feed an adult in prison for a day. Mm -hmm. And so putting these report there is a form of torture. But society can make good use of them mm -hmm. by cleaning our gutters, desilting uh, gutters within the environment. We have problems of sanitation in Accra, Kumasi, and in our metropolis. So they can be put to good use instead of putting them in prison. And it is one of the ways that we can reduce the congestion, um, congestion in our prisons. And so if you want to reduce congestion in prisons, Non-custodial sentencing is the way to go. I don't know how I would describe this, but you still see prisoners working around. For instance, yesterday one was coming, I saw about six of them working around Kakuti, but these are still prisoners. And so I don't know how we term this very one. Please come again. I didn't hear you all. I don't know how to term this very one. I still see prisoners working like in the form of community service. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are saying that they should do a form of community service. Once a court sentence you to community service, we have officials who will monitor what you do and they report back to the court. And we are saying that, you see, why do you keep people in prisons where we cannot take good care of them? But their offenses are such that they are not mm -hmm. endangered to society. If they are armed robbers, we say fine, they are dangerous to society. But these people are not dangerous as such to society. Petty offenders like road traffic offenses, Theft, basic seal, uh, seal, stealing issues, we think that if you give them such punishment, others will observe, look at this man with five children. Yeah. If he is punished, if he is punished to be sweeping or cleaning gutters in his community, would that be deterrent enough to other adults in that community? Would that be more worrying to the children of such a parent? Okay. And so we think that that is the way to go. Okay. You see, it is so boring to see the prison conditions in Ghana. Governments have not been able to come out with a practical steps to decongest and to improve the conditions. And so the best way for us to go is to use this one as a tool to decongest okay. what society will benefit from such a Okay, Francis, uh, if you really want to go heavy on non-custodial sentences, do you think there are systems in place to start even community service in the first place? Of course, I think so. We have well competent Ghana prison service that should be able to deal with that. Two, even if we don't have the necessary system as we, we think of, we should be able to go for training. That is why we have in-service training and other on-the-job training regimes. Other countries have used this process for years. And so we can learn, learn from best practices. Okay. We are not in isolation. And I can assure you, we engage the prison service day in, day out. And we know that they are competent enough to handle such. Of course, any new introduction will come with its challenges. 
But once we are prepared, we will be able to confront the challenges. Thank you so much.